All right, guys, still down here in uh, Waterworks. We're going to uh, continue the run. We're going to go to uh, the Cobalt Den now and get ready to go in. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just throw some protects on real quick. Throw on the most important ones. Um, if I was doing this on Elite, I would want Electric Energy. For sure. And Acid Protection on my dog. And I'm going to go ahead and keep one more of those. That way I, I always have my ammo. All right. Sometimes there's a rare that spawns. All right, so let's see what kind of danger. There we are. Now, if you can't disable traps, you can use them to hurt the enemies. I've done that many times where I've pulled... That's acid. Where I, I, I pulled some uh, creatures into a trap. And I let the trap kill him. Got to do what you got to do. So, Arlo's is either straight or to the right. You know, sometimes he's up top, which is to the right, and it's on the bottom. He's straight ahead. Um, each time you move one of these maneuvers, the platform. Um, here's this. All right, so this is where we came in. So left. It's kind of where his teammates, some of his teammates are and whatnot. Another section of the dungeon I don't do often um, because of the characters that I'm playing. I know the limitations of them. So your intelligence has to be good. You have to be good with, uh, you know, finding secret doors. As well as being able to deal with the mobs. Alright, so that fear didn't stay on me but for a second. Alright. And this right here, this is just, you know, stuff you can get, you know, a little... File, little collectibles. Um, you can trade in X amount of collectibles to get something from the collectible person. Um, of that deals with that, which it it's tell you on the map you hear human in the marketplace typically. For help from the other side of the door. All right, so see this is what I was talking about. I can only come in here now. My intelligence has to be like 18 to open this. And I'll say close. The prisoner thanks you for freeing him and runs off to safety. I'm not big into getting collectibles. I used to be, but I grew out of that phase. And these guys respawn very fast. Same with the ones in the at the main entrance, um, on where the bridges are. They respawn very quickly too. So let's see. Oh, that was cool. That was like three arrows. All right, another rush shrine. I don't know. See that sound right there? That means uh. I broke enough boxes to get a little extra. A little bit more XP out of out of this uh, dungeon. So if you hit XP, one thing you want to look at is you have persistence bonus. You know, I didn't die and re-enter, so I have plus 10%. Flawless victory bonus. You know, again, I didn't die, so I didn't have to leave to re -mana up, come in. So I guess that's probably what that is more focused on. And you know, if I get some more in here, 
I'll be able to get additional bonuses. So that will you just keep upping. Along the wall that spell out the word. <laughs> so I come in and see they close the gate on me. See that gate? So then they call in their buddies and then I just like, ah. Let them deal with that. I'll deal with the shamans. Okay, looks like that's all free. I hit the same lever. Door comes up. Go ahead and go ahead and loot. And if I don't want all this stuff, I can just click what I want. I don't need to click all of that. And that's the thing, is if you're going to be repeating quests uh, over and over to try to loot for a special item, only loot, click in the chest, and loot the items you want. If you really don't care um, about the item, don't loot it. And it won't count against you on your on your loot, basically your loot performance stuff. <laughs> See, oh, this is weird where those guys came from. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now if we look down there, there's a, you notice a wood hatch. Beneath the surface of the water. Click on it, and we'll go ahead. Go up over here. Your spine tingles as you hear the low moans of the undead. See, I'll put them in a line here. Look at that. There we go. It gets glitchy sometimes. It doesn't break the boxes like it should. I'm gonna have to report a bug. He's been doing that quite often. Often enough to where I'm about ready to uh, remove the bad dog feet or enhancement off of him in training for something else. Right here. Oop. Missed. Trying to cast spells in. Right now. Alright, so those energy buffs wore off. Go ahead and we're on back on. All right. Let's go for it. Remember Whenever you can, always go for your spellcasters first. Okay, that's good. So... So I'm going to do that. Oh, someone hit me with something. All right. So
I want to have a bunch of them coming. Which is fine, so I'm going to do this right here. Let them come. All the melees will come here. And I'll go ahead and I'll check these rooms. So good, rare. His stuff's up top. So I need to save Arlos' buddies. The prisoner thanks you for freeing him and runs off to safety. This is where the boss's chest was at. And again, only loot what you want. Little magic missile that goes around corners and shit. All right, here we the cages or the cells the gates so I got all of his buddies And we'll go ahead and give him give him an escort. Do not let Arlos be slain. Was that bell? Money, money, money. So there he goes. Most of the stuff that I dropped, I just got paid for. I have to thank you once more. Arlos dashes off towards the surface and safety. All right, so that's done. Now what we have to do is we got to talk to our friend right here. All right. And then we need to, um, best practice usually is to recall and then go sell. And then we come back in and I'll show you that next step as well. All right, guys, be right back.